Tonight, Kevin and I are going to be reviewing the Geno's East of Chicago. This is a deluxe cheese deep dish gooey mozzarella cheese pizza. It's a Chicago classic since 1966. It is a uh, 32 ounces, two pounds, 907 uh, grams. It's a heavy pizza. It's a heavy pizza. It was 5.89 at Aldi. So what you do uh, for the traditional bake, which is what we're doing, we're going to remove the frozen um, deep dish pizza, all the packaging. Uh, fully preheat the oven to 375, which our oven is 375. Position upper baking rack to center. Avoid spillage. Place a foil on rack below pizza. I'm going to do that. Bake for 40 to 45 minutes uh, to golden brown crust preference. Ovens vary. Uh, get ready without tipping. Pull from oven. Let sit for five minutes. So, I was thinking when I first read that, that it meant to lay the pizza directly on this. That's not what it says. It says foil on rack below the pizza. So like the pizza is going to be on this rack. I place this on the rack below it. So that's what I'll do. So, and then this is going to bake, uh, bake for 25 to 35 minutes. No. No. Bake for 40 to 45 minutes. Okay. Hold on. That's thawed. Ah, okay. So you can thaw it out first. Yeah. Okay, I didn't realize that. Bake for 40 to 45 minutes to golden brown crust preference. Okay, 40, 45 minutes. Okay. So it does have a way to open it easy. I didn't realize you could uh, thaw it. Ooh, look at that. That looks like a raspberry tart or something, doesn't it? Okay. So this is what it's going to look like before it goes in. I'm, I'm going to lay it directly on the rack and I'm going to put this uh, uh, on the rack underneath and we'll be back. excited when we took it out of the oven and we immediately cut it it says on on the box and we'll know we have two more of these to review so we'll know for the next two it says to a hot tip let it sit five minutes before cutting with a knife so we'll just know that next time mm -hmm. and we'll see what kind of a difference it makes because yeah, it kind of ran it a ran a little bit but not mine, too bad mine, Kevin's really ran. really ran um but and that's the tip these are made, they're distributed, and I'm going to pronounce this completely wrong, Wapaka, Wapaka, Wisconsin. Um, but, so we baked it, uh, the traditional bake, which we baked it for 45 minutes. You can bake it, it says there's a quick bake, and it has instructions, and it's basically half the time. So, we it baked... the microwave. Right, we baked it at 375 for the traditional bake for 45 minutes. The quick bake, you can bake it, you can um, microwave it uh, for six minutes and then let the pizza stand for one minute and then you can bake it for eight, 15 to 18 minutes at 425. So it is um, a higher temperature, but you have already microwaved it for six minutes first. So you can do that. Really just to crisp it up probably. Right. Also. Yes. So it says a uh, golden brown crisp, chunky tomato sauce, fresh mm. ingredients, gooey mozzarella cheese. That's what's in this one. And apparently you can get these shipped. Uh, if mm. you go to genoseast.com, uh, you can get these shipped to and you. We got this at Aldi, but we've seen it at Meyer. Yes, Meyer, Meyer sells them, Meyer sells them too. Them uh, the only difference was at Meyer, they were about 70 cents uh, more, they were more expensive. I've noticed the deep dish, most pizzas we eat, the sauce is in the bottom, mm -hmm. and this, and the cheese themselves on top, this is the switch. Yeah, the sauce is on the top. Mm -hmm. That cheese... It's so good. And you see we're using a fork, too. Mm -hmm. Because it, it's probably sacrilege. It probably is. Some pizza people are going, they, ah. Yeah. If you're in Chicago or somewhere that's famous for these deep dish pizzas, do you use your your hands just like you do 
regular pizza. It's good. I like the sauce. It's a sweeter sauce. Mm -hmm. Um, it's almost like a marinara sauce. I agree with you. Um, yeah, it tastes like a, a dipping, uh, like a dipping, a sauce, dipping yeah. sauce. Um, mm, the, okay. if there's six servings in the pizza, one six is 152 grams and it's 350 calories. And the crust is thick. That's but what it's I not mean. overly thick. I'm getting it to the point where I but can pick it um, up. It's almost like a cornmeal-y kind of. I really like the flavor of it. Mm -hmm. I like everything about it. I like the um, I like the texture of the crust. Mm -hmm, it's too. not like you said. It's not doughy. It doesn't. It doesn't have the texture of a regular pizza dough. Right. Um, it does have more of Even a, the back, as thick as it is, it's still crispy. Yeah. It, uh, it does just it taste has, kind of cornmeal-y? Yeah, like a, it, has a, it just has a completely different texture. Yeah. It's not really doughy. Um, and that pizza sauce, um, it's not spicy at all. Mm -hmm. um, it is a sweeter sauce. The mozzarella cheese has a very strong flavor, but yeah, it's not, yeah. I mean, it's like, it's like, like your traditional mozzarella. There's no funkiness about it or anything like that. I think they're excellent. Mm -hmm. I would definitely, um, I would definitely put one of these in my pizza rotation mm -hmm. and have one of these occasionally. Yeah, I like this. Hey, if you have a uh, pizza party Friday night, mm -hmm. you could add this as one, one of the days, one of those Fridays, you could have this in one of them. I think it'd be well worth it. And we paid five eighty nine at Aldi, so they were seventy cents more at Meyer, so they were a little over six dollars at Meyer. Yeah, but there's probably more Myers around than, than Aldi's. Right, I right. would think. I don't know. I could be wrong. Um, so if you've seen these in any other stores, let people know in the comments yeah. below where you have seen Especially them. Especially if they're not in our area, like H E B. They sell them H E B. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, because they're in Texas. You know, let yeah. people know if you've seen them at those stores, so other people know where to look for them. Because this is this is very very good. I, I it's different this. too, because I, I I don't think I've ever had a pizza like this before. Not like not like this. Mm -hmm. We've had a Genozzi's pizza, but it's been four years ago, and honestly, I don't remember it at all. And it probably wasn't been, a pan with the sauce on top. And it's all been that so stuff. long ago. Yeah. Uh, so I just, yeah, it was a deep dish, and I do a, think it had the sauce on top. Yeah, I sort of but it, yeah, see, it's just been so long ago that we don't even, we just don't even remember that much. Um, but this is very, very good. Like I said, we have two more to try. So I'm very excited to try those as well. They have me do them. Yeah, they do. So I hope you enjoy the video and thanks for watching.